Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a transparent logo that you can use on your website, and specifically you can use on your SMF discussion forums. I'll show you what I mean. This is the typical SMF logo, and it just has your site name on it. It doesn't have anything else on it. You're generally going to want more than that. You're probably going to want something that looks along the lines of this. It only took me about two minutes to create this, and I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to use Photoshop Elements. Let's get started. This is Photoshop Elements. The very first thing we're going to do is go to File and New and then Blank File. And we're going to create a blank file that's 500 pixels wide, 100 pixels high, 72 resolution, RGB color, and this is real important, transparent background. Then we're going to click OK. And at this point, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and just type in our logo. If we wanted to do that, we would select the text tool, we would select a font, We'd select a font size and a font color. In this case, I'm going to select the font color white. And I'm going to click to place my text icon and type in the site name. Now you notice that it types in as almost invisible. That's because we have white text on a transparent background. And what we can do is that we can click it to make it more visible and we can put it whatever we want it. For example, that's probably where we want it. Maybe right there. Again, we can move it around. Now if you don't like the font size that you have, you can always take your text tool and highlight it. And once it's highlighted, you can go in and you can change the color, you can change the font settings, the font size. We're going to change the color just so you can see what the color looks like. So there's our font that we have right now. Now once I have that, what I always do is I highlight it and I go over to special effects. I generally go to the text special effects and drag drop shadow right on top of it. So there's the drop shadow. It makes it stand out. The next thing I want to do is I probably want to change that back to the color that I wanted, which was white. You can have any color you want, I just like white. Now the next thing I do is to put the logo below it. And I've just placed my text tool, and you notice the text tool is still at the uh, font that I chose earlier in the font size, and that's really a lot larger than I want for my uh, subhead, so I'm going to go in and select a different font. I'm going to select Arial Black, and I'm going to select the font size to be 18, and you notice it changed right there. And I'm just going to type it. Again, it's difficult to read because it's white text on a transparent background. We can change that so that we can uh, see it while we're messing with it. That way I can select it and drag it to wherever I want it. Let's say I like it right there. That's pretty good. I'm going to bring that drop shadow on top of that one as well. There's our drop shadow. I want to change the color back to white. And you can make it any color you want. I just like white. And that's it. Now if I saved it right now, I could put that on my site and that would be a pretty good looking logo. But if you looked at the site here, you notice that I've got a little graphic and that kind of makes it pop. So we're going to put a graphic in there. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. To find a graphic, we're going to go to Microsoft Clipart and we're going to select Treasure. And we're going to do a search. And the Clipart page shows us five pages of results and we can look at each one of those to see if we see any we like. Look at those quickly. And this is the one I like. So I'm going to click on that. And I can add it to my selection basket if I want by putting a check there. But you know what's easier? It's just to click copy. And it copies that image into memory. And once it's in memory, I can go back to editor and Photoshop. Click file, new, image from clipboard. And there's the image. Now that I've got that image there, I want to have a transparent background. So when I overlay it, my logo, it doesn't have all the white here. And to create that, I go over to my magic wand and click it there. And you see what it did? It outlined everything that's not part of the background logo. And that's because I clicked on white. I click edit and delete. And now that's transparent. Of course, it's way too big to fit on this logo. That's easy to fix. We click on the logo again. And then once that's on screen, we can drag this up onto it like that. And once we've dragged it on the screen, we can move it around. So if I want that to fit, I can do that and put it right there if I like. Now that I've got my treasure chest over here pretty much where I want it, you may notice that it's overlaying, it's actually laying on top of some of the text. It's sitting on top of it. And I don't want that. I really want the text to be over the treasure chest. And that's easy to fix because everything is a layer in Photoshop. So the layer 3 is where the treasure chest is. And I know that because when I click on the treasure chest, layer 3 lights up. And what I can do is I can just drag it down like this. And now the text lays on top of the treasure chest. So if I move the treasure chest around, 
you notice the text is on top of it. That's a nice little artistic effect. And while we're looking here, you know I have this white subhead here, but wouldn't it be nice if that white subhead actually was the same color as something in the treasure chest? That's easy to do. What we do is we select our text tool, we highlight our text, and with our text highlighted, we go up to the color, click color, and it gives us a eyedropper. And let's select that color right there. Click OK. And now you'll see that our text is the same color as something there in the treasure chest. Again, you can move these elements around until you like the look that you have. And if we like that right there, what we'll do next is click File, Save As. We want to make sure that we save this as a PNG because PNG will uh, preserve the transparency. We'll give it a file name and then save it. And when we're asked if it's interlaced, we're going to say none. The next thing we're going to do is use FTP to put this up on the site. This is our FTP program. This is our site over here. This is our local computer here. Here's the logo we just created. I'm going to right click to upload. And now this is on the site. Next thing we do is we go to our SMF control panel. And that's where we are right now. We select admin and current theme. And down in the current theme, we scroll down to where it says logo image URL and we enter the URL for our logo and click save. And the logo that you created appears instantly. Now see that's the logo we created and it looks really good on the site. This is the way it looks in Photoshop. We have that transparent background. And this is the way it looks on the site. You can see how great it looks. Now creating a logo like this only took us about two or three minutes and it was easy to do. We had the right tools to start with. We had Photoshop elements and in Photoshop Elements, we started by creating a new image with a transparent background and then creating everything on top of that transparent background. Easy to do, only took about three minutes. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips a week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com.